Machiavelli said, the reason there will be no change is because the people who stand to lose from change have all the power. And the people who stand to gain from change have none of the power. That's describing the global aid system today. I'm glad people want to help. It comes from a good heart. People give us food, they dig us wells, they bring us shoes, they encourage others to give. We're going to make poverty history. The problem is, it does not work. The foreign aid amounted to a huge subsidy, hundreds of millions of dollars. Tom Shoes found the right model that captured this love of people who want to be generous and helpful. Our donations have an unpredictable impact on the local economy. Why would you go buy something? It's for free. Emergency disaster relief has become the permanent model. After 40 years, if you're still here, there's a problem. What happened to our cotton farms? That's all gone because of the negative impact of our imports at a second-hand level. We rich countries that produce a lot of food should sell it to poor countries. It has not worked. It actually created more poverty. We don't need one more celebrity doing one more campaign. What we need is to no longer be excluded. No one wants to be a beggar for life. I know about countries that developed on trade and innovation and business. I don't know of any country that got so much aid and it suddenly became a first world country. If you really want to help, the poverty industry as we know it has to go. The sooner we tell a beautiful story about the African entrepreneur doing amazing work, then we will begin to shift mindsets. They're not desolate. They have hope. They have a way to get out of it. There's a way to fix it. When you do something, you can see the impact on the population, and you can say, this is because of me. But having a heart for the poor isn't hard, but having a mind for the poor, that's the challenge.